Dozens of people filled a UB lecture hall, all with the same goal in mind, changing a community that they say has been ignored for so long. A collaborative conversation tonight to talk about challenges neighbors within Buffalo's east side face, including redevelopment, investment, and closing the disparity gap. With so many voices on this topic, 7 News reporter Jocelyn Person is taking extra time to hear from leaders, neighbors, and scholars about what they are hoping for. Community leaders and UB professors are teaming up to take action on bettering neighborhoods in the east side of Buffalo. We look at the community and over the last 30 years, there's been no progress. And that's why this packed house of community leaders, college professors, students, and residents are coming together to save the east side of Buffalo. Hopefully uh, this wakes us up so we can do something for ourselves. That's the most important thing. We can't really sit around and wait for them anymore. That, that day is over with, uh, so we got to help ourselves. Mark Henning works in the east side of Buffalo. He helps people and children with developmental disabilities. He came to the UB oh, Jacobs no. School of Medicine and Biomedical yeah, Sciences boy, to be part of the change just like everyone else. You know, I really could see that the city had progressed in many ways but it had left the east side behind it would seem and uh, so I, my agency and uh, and others uh, have worked to try to mitigate that we just need to keep pushing uh, to make things happen to get equity in the city Dr. Henry Lewis Taylor Jr. is a professor at University at Buffalo. He, along with Pastor James Giles of the Peacemakers Western New York, are in charge of launching a pilot program to redevelop the East Side. A building united wealth, a building a collective community wealth and uh, inclusion and belonging. It's about from this point is pulling in stakeholders, uh, listening to a plan uh, that's quite different from other plans and other models and so that we can now uh, begin to present something that's workable, obtainable and able to be sustained. And health disparities is one of many community leaders and others plan to tackle. This is the beginning of a conversation about the importance of health equity and the importance of having these conversations. I also will say that there's a real importance about doing research in this area so that you can actually prove that interventions work. And the danger now is a growing gentrification threat, that much of the affordable housing is nothing more than a Trojan horse that will bring upwardly mobile whites into the area and the community. This pilot program is going to have field workers going door to door, basically all over East Side, for neighbors and people to partake in surveys. Now, this will be happening in the next five months. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.